Still shaken after Tuesday's blast, many families are trying to pick up the pieces of what's left of their homes and are wondering what the future holds. When I came and opened the door, I was shocked because there was nothing. In a second, you could say that I realized I have nothing left. I have no home. I have no bed. I have no room. 23-year-old Mira is looking for a new start and says maybe it's time to move on beyond Lebanon. Now we also feel like foreigners in our country and we have nothing left. I'm telling you there are people who are way worse off than us, but also our cars are gone, our homes are gone. Instead of paying money to rebuild and then have them taken away once again, we should go away to a foreign country for a new start. But her 65-year-old father says he won't leave his country. First of all, I have no one outside. Even if I had someone, I wouldn't think about leaving in order to show those who are doing this to us that we won't leave and we don't kneel to anyone. My children, I sent them to their friends. They slept there. I stayed here alone with my wife. And for millions like him, staying at home will not be easy. Lebanon has been at the brink of economic collapse with a devalued currency and unprecedented level of unemployment, coupled with a spike in coronavirus cases. UN agencies have warned of a humanitarian crisis in the country. The US, UK and Norway have pledged $26 million in aid to Lebanon. Other nations have pledged medical and disaster relief aid. And Turkey has offered to help rebuild the Beirut port which was devastated in the blast. We have said that Turkey is ready to help with the reconstruction of the severely damaged Beirut port and surrounding buildings. But residents say they have no idea how they will rebuild, how long it will take, or how much it will cost. And many feel the Lebanese government has done little to assist those affected. It's the ordinary citizen taking the first step to normality with dustpans and brooms and resilience. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.